voltage yes both have the same units it is denoted by volts then are the same or is there any difference between them so how to distinguish between them basically we use term emf when we speak about batteries generators transformers and other power sources okay whereas we use term voltage when we speak about any circuit components the circuits or basically loads so emf is a term when we speak about a power sources and whereas voltage is a term when we speak about loads so basically voltage is something which is not generated whereas emf is something which is generated in other way emf is a term used for potential difference generated within the source whereas the voltage is a potential difference between any two points in the circuit or just a sub simply a circuit that's it let us consider a dc circuit like this i have a switch in the circuit and this is the load okay now when the switch is in open condition that is when current is zero because since the switch is not closed since the switch is open there is no current flowing through the circuit now still there is some emf in this circuit that is here at the source the potential difference at this source is uh, called to be as emf okay similarly consider the same circuit with the switch closed okay see this is the resistance r and a current is flowing through this circuit which is denoted by small i and uh, here just like here the emf the potential difference across the source will be e emf okay now if i consider the voltage across this points which i denote with v v is given by v is equals to i into r okay here since the current since the current is zero the voltage across uh, this point will be v which is same as emf since no current is flowing through the circuit but here the uh, voltage across these terminals will not be equal to emf e because this emf in this case is given by i into r plus small r whereas small r is the internal resistance of the cell okay whereas r is the load resistance so even uh, even though the internal resistance of the cell is very small still it makes some difference when a current flows through the circuit so therefore this emf is not equal to the voltage when there is a current flowing through the circuit whereas here if i uh, consider the uh, if i measure the voltage across this terminals it will be equal to the emf e since there is no current flowing through the circuit and we will consider the circuit The voltage across the circuit is 3.2 ohms and uh, the current flowing through it is 0.6 amps and the internal resistance of this battery is 0.5 ohms. So if you want to find out the EMF across the source, you have uh, you simply uh, can find it and from this formula where E is equals to I is 0.6 amps into capital R will be given by this voltage divided by current plus 0.5 ohms otherwise you can get it in another way that is e equals to this i into r is given by olds uh, v so v plus i into small r so in this way also you can find it as e is equals to 3.2 plus 0.6 into 0.5 which gives you some 3.5 volts see here the v is 3.2 and e is 3.5 therefore emf is greater than v okay it is never equal to the voltage when uh, when there is a current flowing through the circuit okay uh, in a dc circuit or uh, you can uh, define emf as the amount of energy provided by the battery to each coulomb of the charge passing through it or you have a formula for it that is e is equals to energy by the charge where charge is denoted by q and energy is denoted by e say q equals to one that is one charge if you consider one coulomb of 
uh, charge, then this EMF will be equal to the amount of energy provided by the battery for each coulomb of the charge passing through it. Okay. Whereas uh, the voltage is just the potential difference uh, between any two points. Maybe it can be here, here, or here. It's just potential difference. Even you can measure the potential difference across these two points, which might give you zero value because generally the resistance is distributed uh, along the uh, length of the wire. But for calculation purpose, generally we consider the resistance at one point. So here the wire does not have any resistance in mathematical point of view so if you consider the potential difference between these two points it will be zero whereas if you consider the potential difference to between these two points it will be equal to the product of current passing through the load and the load resistance okay similarly if you consider an ac circuit the emf is given by faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction where emf is given by the formula minus n d5 by dt where n d5 by dt is given by uh, the rate of change of flux linkages and minus sign indicates that uh, it uh, the generated emf is opposing the cause of it okay which is um, which we're not going to discuss now and if you consider a transformer circuit like this Generally, the equivalent resistance of uh, the primary as well as secondary is brought to the uh, secondary side and I'm representing it here. And this is the load resistance. Okay, this is different from the this resistance. This resistance is the internal resistance of the transformer and this is the inductance of the transformer and this is the load. So if a current is flowing through this transformer like this, so there will be a voltage across this point which is different from the EMF induced in the circuit okay so basically due to the rate of change of flux linkages in the transformer uh, there will be an emf induced in the winding but which cannot which should not be called as the voltage whereas the voltage is the potential difference across these two points that is uh, whereas the voltage is uh, some uh, potential difference between any two points say here this will be different from this because there is some uh, uh, because there is some internal resistance and reactance for this transformer winding. So basically EMF is a potential difference generated within the source whereas the e voltage is uh, the potential difference between any two points in the circuit. Okay, so in other ways EMF is the potential difference generated. No, this is generated but this is just existing you know it's this emf is a potential difference generated by uh generated by a cell or a magnetic field or the cells in the solar panel and also uh, you can uh, see it in this way emf exists uh, in an electrical field or magnetic field whereas this voltage only exists in electrical field okay this emf depends upon the magnetic field change whereas the voltage uh, depends upon the uh, only the resistance so in this case in the transformer this emf depends on the magnetic field the change in the magnetic field whereas this voltage only depends upon the uh, resistance and the current if i change this resistance then the uh, voltage might change so uh, Whereas this EMF uh, depends upon the rate of change of uh, magnetic flux linkages and it does not depend upon the resistance of the circuit. So basically voltage is difference in electrical states of two points in the circuit. Whereas EMF is the force which caused the difference in the electrical states of that uh, in a circuit. Uh, if I consider a circuit like this. Uh, the, uh, the electrical state of this point will be different from the electrical state of this point. So this uh, this difference in the electrical states of these two points is given by the voltage. Whereas the uh, the force which created this difference in the circuit is the EMF. So EMF is the cause. You can say like that. Uh, voltage is something which is caused due to the flow of current in the circuit. Whereas the current itself is created by the EMF. Of course, uh, in a closed the circuit must be a closed one. But the some but the force which drives the current to flow in the circuit is the electromagnetic force. And due to the flow of current, there exists a potential difference in the circuit, and that is called the voltage. If you, if I plot a graph like this, say I have. So, say this is a variable resistance, uh, okay. If I consider R max, then then there will be no current flowing through the circuit and so I will be at zero and there will be a potential difference across the circuit which will be equal to the EMF of the 
battery so this is the starting point of voltage and then if i uh, start decreasing this uh, resistance then the current starts flowing through the circuit and i this is sorry i forgot this this is the current and this is the voltage so if i keep on uh, reducing the resistance on the circuit then the current starts increasing in this in this way and uh, the voltage at this point starts decreasing and if i plot a graph it will be like this and so uh, so this point gives the emf that is when there is no current flowing through the circuit that is i is equals to zero i hope it's clear and i have explained almost uh, basic things required to understand the difference between the emf and the voltage i guess it's clear now okay the only the only similarity between the emf and the voltage is that it has the same units that is generated by volts and uh, i hope it's clear and uh, if you have any more doubts just let me know in the comment section and if you feel like this video is useful please give a thumbs up and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching